uh, editor at large, Grand Nagus of Geek Dad, and I'm very happy today. It sort of uh, happened uh, very quickly, but have the wonderful chance to sit and chat with Tom Merritt and Veronica Belmont. And who would pass that up? I ask you, um, Tom, Veronica, how are you guys doing today? Excellent. Yeah, we're doing very well. Excellent. I have uh, I've been threatening Veronica all day over our Kickstarter video. With bees. Excellent. Mostly with bees. <laughs> I, I, mean, yeah. <laughs> I, I, checked, I checked it out just a little while ago. And it was, was highly amusing. And that's obviously what you need uh, to get a Kickstarter started, as it were. And uh, yes. so obviously that's, you know, the, the, the reason, uh, raison d'etre, and my wife and son will kill oh, me for I'll that say. pronunciation, um, <laughs> is that you guys are doing a Kickstarter, are about to launch a Kickstarter campaign uh, to bring Sword and Laser video podcast back for a second season, which sounds like about the, the best um, thing that any of our Geek Dad readers would want to uh, support. So um, who tell us about what's going on. Why, why did the video podcast go away? Uh, how What are you doing to try and get it come back? And what can people do to help? I don't know what Tom is fiddling with over there, but he is. I guess I'll I'll take that answer. I'm just uh, looking at you in the in the in the down below. Yeah. Oh, you're on but the other you're side. me. Yeah, you're looking in the wrong direction. <laughs> oh, see, I, on my screen, I was looking right the right way. Yeah. See, uh, okay, is that, is that better? Google Hangout. <laughs> Darn you. I guess we'll see how Brady Bunch like we look like in the in the final video. Um, but yeah, we were we started the first season of Sword and Laser Video over on the Geek and Sundry channel on YouTube, and we did a full season of that. I think it was. How many episodes was it? 50? I think it was 50 total episodes. Which, because yeah. it was the well, author was too, guides. Uh, when you, yeah, we, we had we weird counts. Because I think at the end, it ended up being like episode 30 or something at the end. Oh, but was that was it? because some some episodes that were split into two were 13 and 13B. Uh, but yeah, we did, we did about 50 episodes. Uh, some of them book clubs, some of them author's guides. Mm -hmm. And uh, we want to bring the author's guides back. Exactly. So yeah, we weren't weren't able to continue doing the show on Geek and Sundry because they had to restructure restructure for uh, various reasons due to YouTube. Um, and so you know, a lot of shows got got cut from from their roster. We were unfortunately one of them. Um, but they were hugely supportive in everything we did, and we're very excited to bring the show back. Hopefully, if we can get our our minimum on Kickstarter, which I really hope will happen. And yeah, we want to, as Tom said, we want to bring back the author guides. We want to bring in another, you know, between six and twelve authors back on the show uh, to talk about what they're working on, talk about their writing process, and of course take questions from our audience. I know, I've, I've watched a, a number of those, and the, the, some of the best was when you get to have these authors whom we, uh, we all voraciously read and sort of set up on imaginary pedestals and get them to come in and really talk deeply about their work, which is, which is a lot of fun. Um, uh, yeah, I, I will. I will mention, and I actually don't know the story behind this, which probably means I haven't watched all the all the right episodes. But there's a lot of people on Twitter uh, asking about the bees right now. Will there be bees <laughs> in the uh, new season? That's uh, that's up to you, Veronica. Yeah, Will I there like be I'm bees? Bucking, Will the bees, the bees be down necessary? Onto myself. <laughs> no. Uh, should there, should there be a, a, a there should be a special donor 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 level where you know. And for an extra hundred dollars, you can get digi a digital bee named after you to show up on an episode. Oh, no. That's my That's worst nightmare. Idea. Now we uh, we're planning on launching our Kickstarter on Thursday, and uh, in in the rush to get that done, and of course you need a Kickstarter video. So we created a Kickstarter video, and we've been having issues that aren't too boring to go into right now. Uh, but in the course of that, I've had to reshoot my part three times, and Veronica today on Twitter hilariously was like, "I think Tom is going to attack me with bees." After all I, of said these murder. I murder. said murder. Murder. Okay. Murder all right. Murder. 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 I would never murder. Murder would be the crows. But um, and I, I first I was going. I threatened to attack her with ant bees, not actual. Not bees. ant. Not the not the insect ant. <laughs> yeah, but the Andy Griffith. The actually ant, uh, ant bee ant from bee. Mayberry. Uh, but no, that didn't that that didn't seem to carry the day. So I I don't know. We just got we got silly. I changed my name because everybody's changing their name for Halloween these days. So that's I, a cool I, thing to do, Tom. What, yeah. That's what, so I changed my name to something scary, which was Bees. <laughs> and I am terrified. That's, <laughs> that's the terrified. really, the really not that exciting story behind <laughs> yeah, Bees. Yeah, that's cool story, bro. That yeah, cool story, happened. bro. Cool story, B. <laughs> it's like Stephen Stephen Colbert and his grizzly bears. 
<laughs> but so, all right, so, so I, you know, I've known a number of people who have done Kickstarters over the years, and for everything I hear is, you know, it seems, oh, you know, this simple thing, you put put up a video, put up some stuff, ask for money, and people throw money at you, and uh, you walk away happily. But everything I've heard from people is that this is actually a, a grueling process. What what do you guys have to do behind the scenes, and what, what is this going to take to uh, to try and make this come true? This is actually my first Kickstarter. Um, I've been tangentially related yeah. to other Kickstarter projects, but I've never been actually writing them. Tom, on the other hand, yeah, this is like four. his fortieth. Oh, four, just just four. I thought it was yeah, four. I did one with uh, the Grand Master of all Kickstarters, Len Peralta, who Len I think Peralta. at this point has done six hundred twelve. Right. If That's I'm, a lot. By my count. He has like half the money that has ever been donated to Kickstarter <laughs> has gone to Len Peralta. There's my. Oh, yeah, you got your and I do have this, this is handy too. Hey, nice. Do you have collectible Tom? Go. Tom, why don't you have a card? He I does. Do. I don't have mine. Oh, around. I don't have it on my set. I don't have it in the set. Oh, oh yeah, we weren't in the same pack. So oh, right, that's both. true. Good point. Um, yeah, I d- it's uh, it is harder than people think, right? You have to go in and you have to craft your levels correctly. I mean, to do it right, anyway. You have to craft your levels directly so that yeah. they're spaced out appropriately. You have to have good rewards that will encourage people to give you money, but also that won't cost you more than you're getting from them. Uh, and also, you know, won't be really, really extremely difficult to deliver on. I think that's where a lot of people fall down as they realize afterwards, oh, I have to actually now mail out all of these things. We are lucky yeah, enough there's, there's to... fulfillment involved. Yeah, we've, we're right. lucky enough to have hooked up with a guy named uh, David Michael, who works with Scott Johnson and the Frog Pants folks uh, on a lot of stuff, and he is amazing. He he Sales increases creepy. those wheels. So I highly re- recommend you get a David Michael or a David Michael-like person to help you out. Yeah, he's been, he's been a friend of Geek Dad for a long time, so he's he's a fantastic person. He's helped us in, in many, many ways. But, um, so, alright, so you have the plan for the new season. Do you already have any ideas about which authors you might be able to get on this season so that maybe we could you know, tease a little bit of that. If if you know someone, uh-huh. if, if you, you if somebody gives you that twenty or fifty dollars or whatever, who are they going to get to see on this new season? I well, no, we haven't we haven't booked anyone solid yet, but I have a lot of a lot of ideas, and fortunately, we have a lot of friends in the author community, so I'm not I'm not too terribly concerned about it. Um, there is one person who we've been trying to get on the show forever. Neil. Neil. Neil Gaiman. Neil. Why? He's he's yeah, our number one get. Dropkick. This yeah. is a busy guy. He's a busy guy. We almost had him for the first first season, and then it, so and then scheduling just ended up falling through. So I mean, but just to give an idea of like the kinds of authors we've had on the show in the past, we've had Patrick Rothfuss on, we've had George R. R. Martin, we've had Neil Stevenson on the show, uh, we've had Robin Hobb and and Gail Carriger and uh, Peter Jack F. Hamilton, Perry and Peter F. Terry Hamilton, Brooks. Uh, Brandon Sanderson. Um, so we've you know I pretty mean, much my library. Are those enough names dropped on your floor? Yeah, can you those you want to pick names. up some those of those hot names? names. <laughs> um, so yeah, as as a uh, you know, Tom and I are not just people who do this show. We we love this stuff. Like this is kind of we we get a chance to talk to our idols, people who we've been reading our whole lives, and uh, so we're we're very driven to to you know fill out that roster even more. That's why I think this is going to be a no-brainer. I mean, right there. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, Look very at you. nice. We cannot unfortunately I get. I think Tolkien. I see a couple of editions that I have. Yeah, we, we tried very hard no. to get J.R.R. on the uh, on the show, but he's well, get, just get, um, yeah, mostly dead. Christopher, Christopher is, is a generally a gr- uh, grumpy guy, but the is it the grandson or the great grandson who who's been like a big supporter of the movies? You, you could probably get him. Oh, that's a good, not a bad idea, actually. Yeah, it's not a bad thought, honestly. Mm-hmm. And and we would have we would have to batch shoot these episodes to make it work budget-wise and schedule-wise. Because right. doing it the way we did it on a set with a movable dragon and making it look good is is a lot more expensive than doing the Google Hangouts, which we have been doing also, and, and we will probably continue to do some of those when it's appropriate. But if you want it to just like have that look like it had in season one, you got to put down a little money. So that's why we're, we're yeah. putting the Kickstarter out there going, hey, you guys want this level of production, then you know we'll we'll be happy to do it. But we do have to shoot more than one episode of time, which was true in the other season as well. And that means we have to pick the days that the studio is available, and then we have to find the authors that are available on those days. And that's that's why we really can't say 
who we would get, but we definitely want people like all of those people that we said. Right, yeah. and once and I, we I, get no, that I, scheduling down, we'll be able to move forward with that pretty quickly. And I got to think it won't, it won't be that hard. I mean, I think I think Sword and Laser has been one of the highest profile um, shows, you know, between video the video show and and the podcast uh, for the uh, you know speculative fiction and sci-fi and fantasy fandom to to actually see these folks and, and hear from them. Well, to our great surprise, yes, that appears to have started to become the the case, which is wonderful. Well, that's true. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. No, I think I think it's going to work. I, I have I have a lot of faith in this. I mean, we've got uh, a couple of people in the Geek Dad community who who have run uh, um, like you know uh, campaigns for five to ten thousand dollar range f- to put out um, editions at, like uh, e- e-books of of uh, collections of fiction. You know, do a like a, a sci-fi magazine in in single editions, and they've been successful every single time. And so. Obviously, there is a passionate community out there that will support this kind of endeavor. So I, I really think you guys just just beware when you you know get over that 1.2 million mark that you're gonna have to <laughs> put out. So. Oh man! Yes, to we're not we're not problem. we're not asking for too terribly for much. Three, four, and five. That's that's yeah. That's not a not a terrible idea. So yeah, we're we're not asking for too terribly much. You know, we've we've got a pretty good sized community out there. I really hope that you know if they want to see the show happen, they've been they've been bugging us about it for the past year and a half, like wanting wanting to see it happen again. So I, I hope that I we can make that happen for them. If like every person in our Goodreads group gives a dollar six, we'll make our first goal. Yeah. That would work. We just have to make sure they know that it's happening. That's why we're doing stuff How like this. <laughs> everybody who follows Veronica, Tom, and Geek Dad on Twitter gave a dollar. You'd be. Oh, that would, yeah. I mean, have, forget us. Just Veronica. <laughs> that would be fine. Or, well, well, just Veronica, yeah. yeah most no. of mine are probably porn bots, unfortunately. I think they have money. They have, they have money. money, do they? You tr- <laughs> That's right. That's a good point. I shouldn't discount them so quickly. We should have talks Never. with the porn bots. We, we would yes. not even do a Kickstarter. We can't go much too much further on this topic, or I'm going to no. get an explicit tag. So, um, so uh, <laughs> wonderful to talk to you guys. I'm I'm really really excited about this about this Kickstarter. It will uh, as soon as it goes up, uh, I will uh, have this on curated on our Geek Dad page, and we'll post about it. And we will encourage all of our readers to uh, to help support. So, guys, good luck. Hey, thanks. Well, Ken. thank you very much. Yeah, we we super appreciate it. And you know, one of one of the rewards for the for the Kickstarter is going to be our Sword and Laser anthology. Um, so you know, that's another reason to donate if you want to get a copy, a paperback copy or an ebook copy. Um, that's that's you know one one thing that I'm real excited about too. So if they love reading, that's going to be yeah. a, a great new thing to check out as well. Yeah, good point. Real real quick before we sign off, tell tell folks what what are the uh, what are the rewards that they're that they'll be uh, possibly getting. Well, of course, there's, there's going to be, we've got t-shirts, we've got posters, um, we've got posters that are going to be created by Scott Johnson, one of our dear friends. Um, we've got uh, advanced copies of the ebook edition of the Sword and Laser Anthology, which we've been working on for the past year. Uh, well, I say we've been working on, but really the, the community contributors who wrote the stories worked their butts off to, to make it happen as well. By the way, uh, our editor uh, texted me earlier today, Veronica, she's editing the, the last story today. <laughs> That's and so, so you should be getting a finalized first draft, like by the end of the week, I think. That's that's really awesome, um, Tom. What else we got? Oh yeah, I, I was looking at this. Uh, we have oh the voicemails, the, the outgoing voicemails. Yeah, messages. we'll record outgoing or anything for you really, but voicemails seem to be popular. Uh, we'll discuss a book of your choosing on the audio podcast. That's there's a level for that. Uh, there's a guaranteed question on one episode of the video show, your own personal 30-minute Google Hangout with Veronica and, and me if you want, um, <laughs> executive producer <laughs> credit on the episodes. Oh, and there's a really expensive level to stop me from doing a Google Hangout with you. <laughs> I won't bother you anymore. Um, no, yeah. I'm just kidding about that. But no, you, we, could, we have this executive producer level. You get like credit in all the episodes, and we shower you with praise and thanks and love and, you know. All that kind of stuff, and we'll add new reward levels if we hit our stretch goal. Uh, if we if we move to a stretch goal, if we hit our main goal, which is for six episodes, we're going to try for twelve episodes, and then we'll add some other reward episodes or reward levels in there. 
All right. That sounds excellent. Well, guys, uh, absolute good luck. We'll get the word out there. Hopefully the uh, 14 people who watch this live and the hopefully mm-hmm. hundreds and hundreds, of, if not thousands of people that will watch the uh, recorded version of this will uh, will hop on board and support this worthy endeavor. We need, we need more great science fiction and fantasy out there, and I think popularizing it with shows like this is the way to do it. So more power to you, and um, we're looking forward to it. Thanks, Thanks so much, much Ken. Ken. SwordandLaser.com slash Kickstarter will go live by Thursday if you want to find more information about it. Excellent. So long, everybody. Bye. Bye.